going. I am just, uh, just putting up documenting a little bit right now. Uh, I've got stuff going on all day, every day, but you can't always capture you know, on camera. Gang stalking, it's very tough. Um, so, I was out in the front yard pulling weeds today. Um, now I'll just, I'll just, for the people that don't understand or haven't researched this much or haven't been targeted, haven't been, haven't gone through gang stalking, organized stalking, harassment, um, you can come into your neighborhood basically to be completely quiet, no commotion, nobody out in front of their house, not a soul in sight. And you decide, hey, you know what, I'm going to go out and pull the weeds. I'm going to go out in the front yard. I'm going to go enjoy myself. Go pull some weeds, get some sunshine, get some fresh air. And the next thing you know, when you come out of your house, it seems like everybody in the neighborhood had the same idea. And they all come out of the house, and they bring their kids out front with them. And it's like they have taught their kids to scream at the top of their lungs or just make noise, throw rocks at your car, um, drive by, give you a dirty look, just, just neighborhood narcissism. And uh, then you head back in, they all disappear again. So it's like, you know, they want this commotion and chaos and, um, you know, but a bunch of what's going on in the neighborhood basically is what a normal busy neighborhood would be like. But this neighborhood's not busy. It's super quiet. There's not a lot going on. Um, but imagine if the homeowners association had a renter in there and they wanted to sell that home to a homeowner, somebody that was uh, communist like them. You know, they wanted to get the, uh, the Patriot out of the, uh, out of the neighborhood. You know, maybe they would uh, gang stalk somebody, do something like that. So here's just a real small instance of uh, what these people do every single time. So I'm pulling weeds on the side of the house. I notice here comes the red truck with the lights. I've been driving down the street with the brights on one after another while I'm on the side pulling pulling weeds. So I got them. I'm going to put up the rake. And uh, get some of the stragglers that are in the front yard. And this guy decides, hey, you know what? I'm gonna drive to the back of this neighborhood where there's no drive-through, there's no there's no outlet. You you have to make a point to come to the back of this neighborhood. You have to go out of your way to get to the back of this neighborhood. So this is what I get a lot of the times I'm out here in the front yard pulling weeds and a uh, red vehicle just pulls up and they just sit there and idle and they'll either sit there for, you know, five, ten minutes and they'll just take off or uh, they'll park and they'll get out and act like they um, are going to visit the person at the house. All right. So they sit here for a while while I'm pulling weeds, so I'll just... Uh... Fast forward through that part. They were there for a while. Sitting there. For, you know, five, ten minutes, they'll just take off. See so yeah, how they just they or, look up, uh, they pull forward a little bit, and stop. And act like they, they just do the weirdest um, things. It's to get your attention. Are you going know, to visit go the person at the house? And this person in the truck could have easily had a gun, just got out and shot me. But I'm to the point where I just really could give a shit less anymore. And um, I'm just tired of these people, so I'm going to make them go away. Or do what they need to do. You know, they don't like me, I guess. Uh, they had some balls. Go ahead and do what they need to do. Um, if not, you can leave me alone. You will be the ones to leave. All right, so let's get the license plate. This person just fucking around. 
So this is license plate 855GCT. And what else does it say on the uh, license plate? Huh, Avondale. So that's what uh, that's what these people do. They just sit out in front of my house. I go over to get the license. Yeah, so they want you to feel creeped out, not pull your weeds, run back in the house and go hide. There's people everywhere, you know, and for a while, that's what I did. I didn't know what was going on. And uh, I know exactly what's going on now. I'm documenting. I'm not afraid. Uh, you can destroy everything I have. You guys can burn down my house. You can kill me on my doorstep like Bill Cooper. I give a flying fuck less anymore. I will live free or die. And um, I'm tired of being, I'm tired of my freedom being impeded and um, my constitutional rights being trampled for more than two, decade, two decades. Um, we'd have to do more research to prove that I was born into this, but at least. Um, actually, you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm getting a little irritated. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. My son's calling me. And uh, I hope you all have a great night. Stop gang stalking.